Hi, I'm Amy and I've lived with an autoimmune disease, psoriasis, for over 20 years now. And this is my mum, Tina, who became my carer back in 2018 when I was first diagnosed with Gute. Okay, when looking for answers, um, it was retrospectively thinking about it, a desperate trawling for the internet with absolutely no real idea of what I was doing. I didn't know where to start. Um, so I found information on restrictive diets with claims, you know, they would cure the worst symptoms. I bought self-help books from people who were managing the disease themselves, looked at emollients, supplements, anything that was flagged as soon as the word gutate was put in search engine. And that really was my biggest mistake. Because what I was looking for was information actually backed up by medical um, findings. Um, I did buy every book, I think, that was promoted by someone who had amazing results. Uh, I grabbed onto any piece of advice I could get in order to try and understand the condition, to try and stay strong for my daughter. Yes, what I really needed was this single point of access, this one-stop shop, and it just wasn't there. Um, so I'm rushing around 100 miles an hour, completely overwhelmed by this amount of information. I didn't know how to filter out what might work, what, you know, what was actually pretty ridiculous. And then one day I just woke up and I thought, I've got to stop. Just stop, Tina, stop, become more rational about this. And we need to get proper advice. We need to start with a relevant sort of medical practitioner, someone who knew, who would know and be able to guide us. You know, the right place to start, instead of this bull in a china shop, rushing around, desperately trying to do it by myself. So I did turn to social media platforms and I just thought, there are real people out there who are, are going through this. So uh, that's what we did really. Um, got involved in social media. Um, which actually turned out to be a lifeline. It was a bit of a, it was a bit dodgy at times, wasn't it? Because there was a lot of really unpleasant trolling at one point, you know, once Amy's condition was revealed and she was brave enough to put herself out there, there was a lot of really severe trolling. Um, so I did troll patrol every day, reports, really unkind comments. And that was really, really difficult. I, but then, we became part of a really positive, strong community that, that had already, always been out there, but we just didn't know they were there. On social media, um, I'm part of a really big psoriasis community on Instagram. And although it is, I would definitely say it's not the right place to go for any med medical treatment or advice, um, it's not what it's about, um, but it is a wonderfully supportive community of people who understand what you're dealing with, um, what you're going through, and they can just pick you up when you need it the most and vice versa, you can do the same for them. Um, it is that mutual, mutually supportive community. It is. You, you think you're going on there because you know, you're know you seeing what other people are going through, you're, you're looking at how they're managing things, and it's just that boost, really, of, of understanding the support you're giving your daughter is great, or look how well your daughter is doing. So it's mutually supportive, and in, it's incredibly valuable in helping you actually to be able to move on. Yeah. And cope, really. It's a great place for the for the carer to be able to go to um, and find that support that they need. So finding the right medical professional is the best advice that we can give you. I had to visit three different doctors until I found a medical professional who actually listened to me and offered me really strong support and made the right recommendations to get me the referral that I needed um, to a dermatologist. And that started my journey um, of remission. Never give up on finding the medical advice and support you need. I cannot emphasize enough the importance of finding credible information from trustworthy sources. You must persevere with your healthcare professionals until you find the medical advice that suits you. It is out there. So speak to your doctor, ask for a referral to a dermatologist and utilize the Carerhood portal. There is also an amazing supportive community on social media to tap into too. But see you in the next video. And as always, this is Carerhood for Carers by Carers. <laughs>